What up, tubers? Welcome back to another draft here on Arena. Thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to check out cardkingdom.com slash Numat for all your magic card needs. It looks like I'm doing MKM, but it's going to be another one of those Ravnikin, quote-unquote, chaos drafts. So we'll have only one pack of murders at Karlov Mana before we get a couple more from the Ravnikin plane. Um... It is in a specific order, so again, this is not really a true chaos draft. In fact, it's not even close to a true chaos draft, but it is what it is. It's something different. It's not triple MKM, but, uh, well, you will still probably win or lose if you play with this format with majority MKM cards, I would say. Anyways, we open Rakdos, Patron of Chaos. I will be taking that one over War Leader's Call, although would not be surprised if War Leader's Call is actually a better choice. Buried in the garden also here, but yeah, I'm going to go with the big scary flyer that uh, just does a lot of stuff. Second buried in the garden is what we're getting past here, but a slice and a shock for us, both solid. Mm, I think slice is probably better in this format than shock is. If you play against the Disguised Creatures, they both similarly kill Disguised Creatures for 3 mana, but this scales better, and it's not like Shock going to the face as opposed to a creature is generally going to be that relevant, so I think I take a Slice there following up Rakdos. Oh yeah, and Extract a Confession now looks really, really good. I will say that the green and white cards we've seen go by already are fantastic as well, like 2 Buried in a Garden into Sentry or Gloomkin, but... You're never going to go that route when you open Rakdos or even just the War Leader's Call, right? Let's take the Extracted Confession here. Keep the Black Red going, and uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, this is probably correct to take it. Uh, rather, if I'm going to take Niv Mizzet, this is the correct format to do it as opposed to triple MKM, where sure, it would sometimes work out, but majority of the time it would not. niv miss it when you get these three formats I, is actually, I think, better, because you actually get a lot of guild gates and other fixing from the other two sets. Now, safe pick here is always just going to be, you know, herring, technician, clan basher, but let's go for a little bit of fun. I am a fish after all. I'm just debating if I want to start moving into, like, green as more of a base now, or if we want to just try to be, well, who knows what. <laughs> uh, I suppose I'll just take the person of interest here. So, the niv Mizzet was a hedge. We'll see if it works out. I'm guessing it's not going to, but I'm going to try to lean into it a little bit if we can. This is not a very good pack. Uh, we can probably just take one of these disguise creatures as we can put that in any deck, and um, if we do end up playing five-color goodies, then they're just totally reasonable on their own. Leave it to niv Mizzet to derail my drafts. Oh man, this is a really good pack too. <laughs> Seventh pick, all of these cards are pretty playable. Yeah, I feel like I should just be jumping into straight-up Rakdos. Take the red herring or the night drinker here, and just being like a super super consistent deck. Just consider the Niv-Mizzet a fun little what if, but maybe not get there. So I guess I lost like on another red herring or a bull rack or something, but it is what it is. I actually think the night drinker is better than the herring. Wow, super late killer among us, eighth pick. Okay, I guess there's still a possibility of that going on. Yeah, I'll take the V2 Gazi now. A very late night uh, market watch phantom as well. Eliminate the impossible exit. I mean, if I can get enough fixing, we will make the niv a thing. No guarantees though. Into a bedevil. Yeah, I mean, they do want me to go into <laughs> black red, it feels like. Another good one here is the Orzov Enforcer. 2 mana, 1, 2 death touch. That makes a 1, 1 flyer when it dies. Orzov Guildgate. I bet you I could try to wield the Bedevil.
Eh, I'm just gonna go with this, right? This is the safe play. This is a fantastic red-black start, so whatever. I'm missing like two red herrings or something, but... Ah, God, the... The difficulty of trying to draft fun slash trying to draft, like, good. Another bedevil? Fine. <laughs> uh, sure, why not? Not really losing anything. 2-2 two, two for 2. 4 mana, 3-3 three, three menace. Or, yeah, 4 mana, 2-2 two, two menace with haste. All right. What does this one do? Awaken the erstwhile. Each player discards all cards in their hand, then creates that many two. two no, so bad. We have a blade juggler here. Always a nice pickup. Though you do want to be a little bit more aggressive. Like, had I taken those red herring, the blade juggler would be much better here. Wow, 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 wow. I mean, hey, this is pretty good. Hackrobat two three. That. Uh, you can either spectacle it out, or you can just hard cast it for three. Totally reasonable. It can gain death touch, or you can give it four power in exchange for one toughness. And then we have the Cult Gill Mage. Target player discards a card, activate only as a sorcery, or it deals one damage to target opponent or planeswalker. The discard effect there is really, really nice. Oh, look, you <laughs> puppet Jace over there. No, I think we'll take the Cult Gill Mage for sure. Carrion Imp is also really good. 4 mana 2, 3 flyer that uh, drains for 2 or gains 2 or something. Wilderness Reclamation, that's a fun one. Uh, the Trumpeter is, I don't think, very good. It's like, okay. It gets better when you have more Spectacle cards, but I think generally I'd rather have the Vandal or even the Recluse. This is just a fat creature. Kind of want to lower my curve, though, so I think I'm going to take the redrop. There's a Mortify, there's a Carrion Imp, there's another Footlight Fiend, another Reclamation. I'll take the Carrion Imp here. Okay, it doesn't drain, it just gains two, but still, that's good. Plague White is a two mana two one with some okay attacking abilities. Or we take the two mana two one that we cannot pump. So, I guess we'll take the white. Nice Rakdos Guildgate here. Yeah, our deck looks fantastic. Footlight Fiend is honestly probably reasonable over just a random 2-3 reach. Okay, this card is bad. So... This pack two is the one where we're gonna get all the Rakdos cards. Pack three uh, does not have the enemy colors, right? Or rather, um, ally colors. It has the enemy colors, so. A sacrifice another creature if you do can't be blocked. That seems okay. Nice, got the uh, second imp. If we had enough sacrifice effects, the caught red-handed could be good, especially if we're playing free sacrifice effects. All right, not a bad pack two. Let's go to pack three and just hope that we can get enough solid playables, and that is a nice starting pack three for sure. Lava Coil. Just fantastic, efficient removal spell. Uh, direct Current is solid as well. Child of the Night, totally reasonable two drop, and Necrotic Wound, a totally okay removal spell as well. This was better for the decks that could surveil a lot into their graveyard, right? I don't actually have that many creatures in my deck, so I need to focus maybe a little more on the creature quality at this point instead of removal, but yeah, the banneret was good. This card would do a ton of work, and especially if you had a lot of removal to back it up, if you could get a couple of mentor triggers off of this thing, it was pretty disgusting for a one drop. Nothing really here for us. Man, another really good mentor creature. Moodmark Painter, 4 mana, 2, 3. ETB, a creature gets pumped for power. 
What does this one do again? Target creature you control deals damage equal to its power to target player. Oh, so the player only, not worthwhile. What am I at? 18 ish playables. I mean, is there a chance I play Hypothesis? Possibly. I just don't think we're playing any of these red or black cards, or at least I hope I don't. There's a bodyguard. It's a second guild mage we've seen. A lot of good uh, red and white cards going around. Sulfuring Imp. I guess that one was okay. Target opponent reveals their hand, you choose a non land card. Yeah, okay. We'll take the 1 1 flyer. I'm a big fan of the bodyguard, but that's better in a little bit slightly aggressive deck. Barging Sergeant was another really good Boros card. Severed Strands is okay. But again, I already have quite a bit of removal, and I don't have that many creatures to sacrifice, so I guess we'd rather barge here. Child of Night, all right, that's just an okay two drop. A lot of guild mages going around. <laughs> the Bard is in bats. Four mana, three one flyer. Again, oh, how far we've come. Um... Chemister's Insight was also really cool. I guess there's a blue land for maybe splashing Hypothesis. This is just five damage to a creature for five mana. These cards required gates to work out, and we only have one, maybe two right now. I don't see us wanting to run Maximize Velocity. I'd rather play Command the Storm. All right. A little bit light on playables, I think, but maybe we can get one more thing to round out the deck. And it's hopefully not this Mood Mark Painter. I'm not against running like caught red handed, I guess. Another blue guild gate, actually. Okay. So we have two blue guild gates if I wanted to splash Hypothesis. Man, we actually got a ton of guild gates there in that pack. I don't think we want to do that, though. Pretty sure Hypothesis is not worthwhile. I guess I'll just run the painter. All right, how's our curve look? Solid enough, and more importantly, our removal quality is very high. Okay, this deck's decent. I'm not going to call it amazing, but I think it's good enough to four or five wins. So let's rattle off and go to round one. Let us fight. When it's on the play, our hand looks okay. All right, we need to find a third land, please. Oh, they have a leader's call. Good news, we did find the third land. I'm gonna just riot this with haste. We're gonna discard the mood mark painter here. Perfect. Okay, I mean, this might be good enough. Just two drop, three drop with three removal spells to follow up. Uh, I lied. They had inside source. Well, like I said, it is not surprising in the slightest that uh, we might just straight up lose to MKM cards. We can start activating the Cult Guild Mage here if we want to. Whoa, 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 whoa. Street Gossip, okay. Sadly, Bedevil does not kill enchantments.
But we can just start picking apart their hand between the Pilfering Imp and the Cult Guild Mage. Other creatures you control with flying have plus one, plus so, whatever. I think I'm going to pilfer their hand here and then probably just bedevil the flyer depending on what's left. Okay. Distribute three one one counters among one two or then double the number. Uh, they need another green for that, so I'm actually going to take their foragers here. That's fine. Almost want to double block. It's actually a pretty good draw. All right, upgrade gone. Be a little bit careful, they can give their creatures trample. Actually, I kind of want to take six here now. But I should probably trade with this, I think. Take three, ping them for one. Waffling a bit here between if I was supposed to go aggro, if I was supposed to trade off. The War Leader's Call is just so stupid. Okay, so now they can put a creature or land on top, and they're grabbing a person of it. They have Dawn of Hope too? Oh my lord. Okay. That was a good draw. Um... Oh, we should be able to pressure them enough here. Slice that for two. Make them sack their 3-3. Three, three. Attack for four. Ping them for one. They're going to play two three threes. I go to six. This is going to be a really close game. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Whew. That was close, but <laughs> we were able to prevail. Man, Worley just call. Stupid. Yikes. You'll notice all their problematic cards were from MKM. Surprise? No, not at all. Not in the freaking slightest. That hand looks garbage. Let's mulligan that down to six. That also looks really bad, but I'm not going to mulligan it. Um, yikes. Two of my worst creatures. Okay, that's actually a good draw. Let's me discard some of the garbage again. Uh, 
is Copa 3-1 lifelink. That's a nice target for end of turn slice into hasting the burning tree. And rummaging away this painter. Two for Convoke. Yeah. After drawing Bedevil, I'm okay to Lava Coil that thing. I think here we're going to discard the Barge. The Reverse Carrion Imp. You got it. Alright, I mean, can't complain about drawing nothing but removal. We'll pitch the Child of Night here. Any land will let us cast the Guild Mage. Awkward draws. Okay, well, at least I can just attack into that and offer a trade. Hello, land? <laughs> Where's the land? The hell? I mean, if they use a trick here, we're going for the bedevil. We are browning them down. Okay, that's fine. Um, I guess I'm not going to discard anything anymore. Slight temptation to actually run out the Cult Guild Mage and start getting them to discard their hand, but let's get the double body on the battlefield, I think. A okay with that. Sure. And I'm going to lead with the guild mage here, because um, if they don't empty out their hand, we're just going to make them discard some cards. Candlelight Vigil, nice. Spectacle the Blade Juggler. Any land drawn will let us bedevil. Oh, Banner, it's a good draw too. Okay. Store target creature surveilled too. They probably should have killed my Banneret. Pushes a lot more damage. Actually, yeah, I'm just going to go big here. That Banneret added 7 damage that turn. Uh, they're just dead on board. If I go double pump, both creatures attack as at least a 4 power. Yes, nice. 
Told you, the banneret does work. It's a one mana one one at the end of the day, but it's got a lot of text. What? Is this? <laughs> okay. Trolls. And a good looking hand. Got the double black for the flip of the Moroi. Moroi? Moroi. I don't know how you pronounce that. Is that a real word? M O R O I I? Who knows? The Fiend! The Sanitation Automaton. Wouldn't know it, but this is uh, Tarantino, right? Sure. They must have another one toughness creature. Oh, maybe not. I guess this is still fine. Play ours face down and then we can flip it up plus coil something else next turn maybe. Two two death touch. I don't think I want to trade off my flyer quite yet. Although clearing their board in way for the barging sergeant would be nice. This trade I'm okay making. Trade it off a of Bloomkin. Oh, that's really good for us. They have nothing to combat the barging sergeant this turn, so it's just a beautiful attacker. Sacrifice a creature with Defender, draw a card. Now we kind of just win the game here. Attack, give another counter to our face down card. They're going to chump the Barging Sergeant and then sacrifice their Vine, but then we flip up our Flyer into a 6 and just 2 turn clock. Yeah, brutal. Alright. <laughs> well, that was certainly a game of magic. You know what we haven't seen yet? Our pick one, pack one. But we haven't needed it, so I guess I can't complain. All right, on to game four. Looks good. Looks real good. Blue, red. The one four. Oh no. Um, hmm. It's kind of interesting. Is it better to coil that or extract that? I think I'll go with the coil. But I could get punished by not extracting it. Definitely. In this case, I actually was a little bit punished as uh, 
lava coiling the cold case would actually what exile it and deny them the investigate but it's fine sure I hope they attack. This is a really nice turn for Barging Sergeant because we don't care which one they... Uh... So I like attacking like this. Because if they opt to double block the person of interest, then they're taking seven and they're leaving the Barging Sergeant online. Yeah, I like this. I think that was worth it. Best part about that is now we can um, collect evidence on the confession if we want to as well. They could just pass here. Skitter Eel is threatening to become a 5 5, but. It's a nice one too. Let's go to combat. They just double spell this turn. That's annoying, but fine. Alright, so let's extract their 5-5. Five, five. And I think, let's see. Yeah, we pump this up main phase, go to combat. Bashy smashy. Probably gonna rummage away the uh, plague white. All right, so the barging sergeant can go on top of the child. Banneret must go on the tutu. White. Worst possible draw on the deck. That's too bad. Okay, so I assume they're going to shoot the barging sergeant then if they're making this block. Oh, they have dazzling lights. Nice. Wow. Perfect trick for them to have there. Good news is they're still taking six, and I'm only losing um, the Child of Night in trade. So we're still doing pretty good here. Keep this extra mountain for Burning Tree discard. I have to do this before attacking, which is sad, but looks like they didn't have anything to punish me for it. 
There's the swamp. Nice. Wow. Perfect card there. But if they don't have anything else, they have to block the banneret now. Which means we still get to keep the burning tree. Uh, that's not too bad. Okay. <sighs> Hypothesizzle. Darn it. So now they get to kill my burning tree, but they do have to discard a spell then. Wow, they were... Okay. They had a lot of interaction. Nice. That only goes to creature. Wow. <laughs> Three removal spells. We just need anything with two power. I'm gonna go ahead and kill that since we have so much removal. Sure. Three, two, flying scry one. Rakdos? That is not a Rakdos. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to kill these. Okay. Well, it is a two turn flying clock, so we got that going for us. <laughs> Ugh, gross. Gross, gross, gross. Oh, they must be discarding spells here. Or maybe they're thinking about keeping one land and just, yeah, we'll just have to see. They've seen 10 of their land already. Discarding Watcher is kind of scary. I mean, that could be a Technician which would trade with Pilfering Imp. Oh, that's a really good draw too. It is the Technician, damn it. Okay. I'm not going to let the trade happen. I'm not going to bedevil the 1-1. Uh, the one -one. Although I think bedeviling the 1-1 one -one was actually a really reasonable play. Because then I would have two different ways to lethal them next turn. I do think bedeviling their, their token was... Ah. Right. Well, good thing I didn't bedevil their token. I hope they cannot kill my guild mage by having another instant or sorcery here. Or rather, just an instant. Good. It is also an unblockable creature. Alright! Damn, their deck is very good. Sheesh. Their deck was quite good. We were very fortunate, I think, to have as much early pressure as we did. But hey, 4-0, I told you, this deck is great. Would not expect it to get anything less than 4 or 5 wins, and, uh, you know, maybe we can draw Rakdos one time. <sighs> Give me the Rack Daddy. And before we go 0-3 from here, that's a keeper. That is definitely a keeper. Three, three drops. Well, castable ones, and now even a fourth. 
Excellent opening hand. I think I'm just going to play out the Night Drinker face down here. Burning Tree, even as a 3-2, doesn't attack profitably. Huh. Okay, well, that's nice. Wasn't expecting to get to spectacle our Blade Juggler, but... Venerated Loxodon! That is a hell of a card. Good news. We have some nice draws here. Let's just flip this. Attack for four in the air and play Child of Night. As far as Venerated Loxodon are concerned, that was thankfully a pretty weak one. Sure, no blocks. Okay. Let's extract. Assume they had to sacrifice their 10th district. Then I'm just going to attack with everything. I'm not going to slice the automaton. I don't really care if they trade. Expert agent. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll just let this happen. If they want to go trade, trade, I'm okay with that. Aggressive. I like it. Sure. Oh, war leaders call again. My lord. And a grave dig. Very nice. And a hunted witness. Sheesh. Uh, I think we just put them on a two-turn clock here, though, right? Oh, I guess I did just give them a life linker. But I did get to rummage. Because if they don't draw a removal spell or a another way to like block a flyer, the mood mark kills them, right? Damn it. And they gain life here anyways, too. Mm. So back to nine they go. That was perfect. That's exactly lethal. Nice. Wow. Really good draws for us. Excellent. I was crap-talking the mood mark, but look who just drew us lethal. You know who didn't draw us lethal? Our pick one, pack one that we are 5-0 without. Where are you, Rakdos? Save me. Game six. Hand is good. Turn one. Torch Courier! You doing? Another target creature gains haste until end of turn. Guess I'm trading?
Fix our extract better. Oh, they didn't even have anything? What on earth? Now oh, I regret trading. What the heck? What the heck are they doing? You're making my trade look miserable. Ooh. Our mono removal hand is not looking very good. There we go. All right, we need to draw a land next turn so I can extract that and uh, blade juggle, but it's like it was not meant to be currently. Sadly, that only exiles creature cards. It would have been pretty cool if we could exile their direct current and turn off the jump start on it. Jump start land or any card? Discarding any card, all right. I guess I'm thinking of uh, retrace as land. Torching my courier and getting a clue. I don't think attacking there is good. Ah, okay. I was going to say, because now the Child of the Night just gets in for free. Um, hmm. Man, the double clue is so bad. I want to trade here. I don't really want to extract either. Not on novice inspect. I guess we could just hard cast the blade juggler. I feel like we're pretty far behind because of the two clues though. But you know what could fix that? A certain six mana six six flying trampler that definitely exists in our deck. No, that's not it. Give them the illusion of choice here. Now right, we're gonna hit them for five. We're gonna gain two back. They're gonna pop a clue. Another Gore Clan. Paste it. What are you doing? There we go. Okay. <sighs> it's got menace, so I can't block it. I really don't want to command the storm that. I'm going to wait one more turn at least. See if they play something a little bit stronger. Ah. We'll just fire it off now. Electro dominance for five and direct current. Okay, so. And lightning helix. <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh, yeah, the deck look good. Nice draw, GG. Look who we finally found in a most miserable hand. What are you doing, Rakdos? This hand's really bad, too. Yikes. 
All right, I pray we draw something to enable the juggler. No, it's not coming down on turn three. And everybody's got the sanitation automaton today. Everybody's got the war leader's call, the automatons. This actually feels like... Oh, God, this is so bad. Am I going to storm strike just to scry? It honestly might be correct. Good thing I did. Don't want to draw that. <laughs> oh my lord. This is so sad. Old Mage is good. Donald Clipster is good. It's pretty problematic. We really need to draw land, but even if we do draw land, we're not really doing much the following turn, or rather on that turn. Uh, okay, four mana, two, three. I guess it gives menace. Take two. Looks like they're just going to hold up the guild mage for gaining two life. Wrong freaking land, dude. Really? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Not confident here. And now they can activate the Guild Mage next turn to give their creatures plus one plus oh and menace as well. I think I just have to trade and cry. Okay, well, that was not terrible. To start, the only issue is that I'm still taking six, maybe even seven on board. Yeah, this is still kind of game over for us. Maybe Rakdos is in fact bad luck. Let's go to five. I play this. No, we're just dead. No outs. GG's. Brutal, brutal. Okay. We will go to the next. Well, at least it wasn't 4-0 into 0-3. There we go. Nice looking hand. Or Puppet Jace. Another creature next turn would be good, or a removal spell. What you got, friend? Reckless Detective. Hey, look who it is again. Sweet. Yep, we're going to keep that land. That lets us go Person of Interest into Barging Sergeant at the very least guaranteed. And of course we want to get to 6 for Rax uh, Rakdos here. I actually don't mind trading for their Blade Instructor. As, although the discard of the guild mage is looking nice here, the blade instructor is also kind of annoying. Though I am the one that's pressuring them right now, so... If they just galvanize and attack for... Well, I guess they wouldn't attack here. I would trade, wouldn't they? That is really, really aggressive. We're going to hit them for 9 now. Jeez. That was... Most aggressive arrestor's zeal I've ever seen. Now they're just playing from extreme back foot. Alright, we did it! 
We get to draw two cards. We resolved Daddy Rack. That was not ideal, though. Yay! Rakdos resolved. Opponent conceded. All right, we're going to get to play a final boss here. We're six and two. This is for all the marbles, and you know I like marbles. All right, let's do it. One more chance for greatness. I don't know if this is a great hand, but it is going to be a keep. All right, they get to search for a gate or a basic. I would guess that they probably have a few gates to grab. Red, green. I need to draw something to do before turn four. Fine. I think I just trade here. I hate it, but I have nothing else going on. And at least that gets that out of the way. Okay. Five, five for four. Where is a removal spell when you need one? Whenever deals combat damage to a player, destroy target artifact or enchantment that player controls. At least that is not super relevant here. Yeah. Gruel biggies. Oh yeah, another 5-5. Five, five. <laughs> uh, well, this is where we say we're dead, right? One of my bedevils or extract, and we're, we would have been in an okay spot, but. Yeah, I'm taking 10. Jeez, what is this? Just three chonkers in a row. Alright, well, good game. We have a lot of removal, and if we had drawn any of it, I think we would have been fine. But we just got absolutely demolished, so. Like, how many different removal spells did I have for a 5-toughness creature? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, one of those 5 might have saved us, but I don't know. Maybe they just had too much fat, so. Eh, good stuff. At least we got to cast Rakdos once. Uh, just a really solid uh, Rakdos, I guess. <laughs> Rakdos deck. Good removal, solid curve. Some of the creatures were a little bit filler, but all in all, not a bad result, so. Thanks for watching, friends. We'll see you back tomorrow. Bye-bye.